let's continue, shall we? We are all uh, fan dabby dozy, aren't we? <clears throat> oh god, um, it has been. I don't know. Uh, two weeks since I played this, so things are a little bit rusty. Anyway, we were off to fight. Yes, I remember. My god, this game looks good now <laughs> on an emulator. I don't get it. Why would the Valuants build such a huge room in these mines and not use it for anything? Oh, you shouldn't assume, Ika. I don't plan on sticking around long enough to find out. Hmm. <laughs> so you've made it this far. I'm impressed. But now you shall die. You shall pay for what you did to my precious chameleon. Oh yes, you will. Ah. Uh. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> All of the slaves who tried to run have died in this room. Yeah, that's pretty dark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, not funny. <laughs> A little bit funny, but quite dark as well. Uh, hee 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 hee, Vase. I want to hear you scream. Now I shall have my revenge. <laughs> you can't take him seriously because he's got a fucking smiley face on his uh, <laughs> on his helmet. Uh, let's shut. Uh, sh let's shut. Let's not shut. Let's start the show, shall we? Huh? Now what? <laughs> Long time no see, Vase. It is I, Alfonso. I came here to watch you die. Doing, Alfonso, you fool! If you're in there, I won't be able to crush them. Someone of my stature doesn't deal with filth like you yourself, like yourselves personally. Antonio, too, finish them. Antonio, too, you say? Another war beast. Curious. Now. Chris has told me a nice little uh, secret for this, which, might I add, is not mentioned in the official guide. So we're going to attack him not like normal. But we are going to use... Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Cleansing. No, Lunar Glyph. Yes. Lunar Glyph on this guy, because... If we get lucky, and I guess it's like a 50-50, uh, that can turn him to stone, which makes this completely trivial. But we'll see. We could also change our weapons to all lightning, I think. Which gives us uh, a bit of a better damage on him. Oh, wow, it worked first time. Very nice. That doesn't always work first time. Quite often it takes two or three attempts. So everybody wail on him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there we have it. What a tip from Chris though. The game's librarian. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> I mean, it really does make it quite true. This boss isn't too bad anyway. Uh, you know, but this just makes it a joke absolute joke like no challenge i have no idea how long this stone lasts for either oh there we go it's finished now he does have um a more powerful move actually now we've got some power let's go for cutlass fury um i guess we can go for some alpha storm he does have a very powerful move that will do 900 damage to you. So as long as you've got more than 900 health, he can't really take you out. Which is nice. Yeah, it doesn't really do much, does it? That's okay. We can handle that. Now, if he gets stoned again, that'd be wicked. Come on. I think if it hits and does... No, he didn't get stoned that time, but that's okay. Doesn't really matter. Nice. 
Yeah, he's getting pretty hammered. That's it. Thunder of Fury. This really hurts, but, you know, we'll be fine. He's almost dead. I mean, counter-attack does essentially very little. Uh, I guess we just go for another Cutlass Fury. Uh, Ica... Uh, I mean... I guess we want to make sure... Which one is it? A thousand health for one ally. Make sure that uh, Fina won't die in the next round. And then we'll just get her to try and Lunaglyph again. Uh, Drachma, I guess you can tackle. I suppose. Why not? Let's try this. Yeah, make sure Fina's not going to die on us because it's a lot of XP. Yeah, he's almost done. Well, I haven't used this for a while. Stick it right up his Jaxi. Whoa. Thousand damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was fun indeed, and really trivial. Thanks for another tip from the Games Librarian. Couple of levels. You'd love to see it. Oh, we got a Moonberry as well. There's actually another Moonberry we can get here. And why is my phone going off? Because it's five o'clock. What are you doing? Not this way. Erg. Yeah, serves you right, Alfonso. You got what you deserved. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to skewer all of you. <laughs> He's so deliciously evil. Yeah, pretty sure that wouldn't be that difficult to avoid. Huh? What? 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 What's going on? My traps never failed before. Crush them! Crush them! Crush them! Admiral Di Loco? Somebody's tampered with all of the machines in the mines. They're all malfunctioning. What? Why? Why, why, why? <laughs> he just freaks out. How could this be? I don't understand. Faze, why won't you just die? Sir, snap out of it. Please, get a hold of yourself. Gutted, my friend. Well, Alfonso, uh, I guess your war beast has disappeared, but you're still here. Ugh. Why? Why do these things always happen to me? Because you suck. To be honest, that's why. Anywho, let's get out of here. You made it out of the mines unharmed, I see. I made a few adjustments to some of the machineries in the mine. Did it, did it help? So that's what it was. Yes, yes. Well, let's be on our way. Ah, yes. I managed to open the door to the outside as well. I must hurry back to see my family. They must be terribly worried about me. You really know your stuff. And he cares very much about his family as well. You're a good man, uh, Pentine. We're glad we could help you. Thank you very much. Well, I must get going. Stop by and see me in uh, Hortica. What is that? Hortica, when we get a chance. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back probably fairly soon. Uh, anyway, we need to go. And get out of here. Yes, look where this leads. But I think somewhere there is a door that's opened up. I think. Uh, question mark. Somewhere. It's a big shutter. It doesn't look like it's going to open. I know somewhere there is a lift that we can now go and use. And that is how we get 
our next item or the final item that we haven't picked up which is a moonberry by the way don't know it's not opening yet which is kind of annoying uh, we'll save it there just in case uh, I don't think we can go through here just yet this door has been welded shut Looks like they're serious about keeping the Ixy Tackens here. Yeah. All right, one second, guys. Let me try and work out how to get that last chest. Okay, so we are back inside. Now, we've gone back through to the start of the level. Uh, when we first came in, we've gone up all the ramps, and we've got to the first chain link area. Now, remember, there was an elevator here that we couldn't do anything with. But now, we can. And we can come down here and get our final item. Which I'm pretty sure is a moonberry. Yeah, remember I was stumped on how to get over this side. And we have a fight. Because of course we do. What have we got? Ugh, just crap. Kill them all. Leave their bodies to rot in the sun. We have no need of these guys. Really? Well, that didn't quite go as bad as I thought it would. There we go. Oh, by the way, uh, Ica and Drachma have leveled up, I believe. Yeah, I think it was just those two. Because we've obviously had quite a few fights getting back here. And here we go. Moonberry times one. Excellent. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Because I, for one, am done with this place. Yeah, uh, well, you know, it wasn't too bad. It was a little bit mazy, but you've got to kind of expect that with these sorts of games. Anyway, guys, I will meet you back outside. And we're back outside. Cool. Let's get out of here. Anyway, let's go back and see the king, shall we? He'll know what to do. He'll definitely tell us what to do, regardless. <clears throat> So we've got a couple of moonberries as well, which is kind of interesting. Maybe we should have... Yeah, let's go back to the little jack. Maybe we should have uh, a little look at our characters. Just for funsies. Um, we can go back to the bridge. Now, how many moonberries have we actually got? Uh, moonberry. Come on. Why can't I? Ah, super move. So that's better. Uh, so we've got five moonberries. Okay. Ica causes the very ground around her to explode, damaging all enemies on screen. Hmm, interesting. Um, Koopal summons a storm to damage and remove any beneficial re effect from all enemies. That sounds useful. Get that. Luna wins. Okay. Now, we can't quite get the final one yet, unfortunately. Okay. We can't get his final one either. We can get vases. Vase summons the power of lightning to rain down upon all enemies on the screen. 14 SP, though. It's expensive. Might be worth getting that for Ica because Delta Shield's nice. But Alpha Storm is getting a little bit out of date, so maybe she could use something a little bit more damaging. Let's go. Lambada Burst. Okay. And we've still got a Moonstone left. Or a Moonberry. Anyway, right. So, back. Back out. We need to go back see the king, which is to the north. Let's ride. Of course, we've got some of the discoveries. I think we've got most of the discoveries here as of at the moment. There's only one that we haven't got, which we are going to get very soon. And, of course, enemies. Because why not? I guess we could try Ika's new ability. <laughs> She's going to run straight away. Going to fire like a fire under my ass. Oh, wow. We start with 16 now. That's very nice. Let's go for Lambada Burst. 
Lunar Blessings. How much? This takes 12. That makes sense, I suppose. Um, okay. You know what? Just, just attack. It's fine. Just attack. Let's see this. Ooh. I mean, it's doing zero damage because I guess they're resistant to fire, but hey, that's pretty cool. Who else got a new ability? It was Vase, I believe. Bastard just healed himself for a thousand points. Alright, um, it was not Vase. You know what? Fine, just kill him. No, it was the new ability from Fina, wasn't it? That was a total waste of time. I suppose we got a little bit of money for it, so. Uh, everybody's also injured, apparently. So, let's fix that quickly. Uh, I guess we'll just use these basic crystals. We need to fill up on crystals soon anyway, which we will get on with uh, next time we go to port. There's Mr. King. Let's go say hi, shall we? Hopefully he's got the coffee pot ready. Talking of coffee. Thank you for saving Isper. Oh, that music! <laughs> yes, thank you for rescuing me. I'd love to thank you two ladies personally. I bet you would. Ah, put it away. God's sakes. But I must return to my priestly duties. Yeah, I'm sure there's lots of women. No wonder all the women have buggered off into their own little hideaway. Well, it was nice meeting you. Not so fast. You were supposed to tell us the location of the lost city. Ah, that's right. I'm sorry. I completely forgotten. <laughs> King Ixtaka, with all due respect, where did you get this guy? Is he really a high priest? Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Vase. Of course. He has much knowledge in ancient scriptures and history. Very well. I will pass on to you the secret of the lost city that has been passed down in my family for many generations. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man will open the way. Okay. That is all. So, you got it? What do you mean, is that all? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, good for you, Vase. I have an idea. To be completely honest, I don't know what it means either. Oh, get rid of this guy. This guy's a fraud. You need to solve the riddle on your own. <laughs> I give up. If you didn't know, then you should have just said so in the first place. Now calm down, I can. Listen to what he just told us. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man will open the way. I know what it means. The great bird with its wings spread and the kneeling golden man are probably somewhere on this continent. So if we find them, we'll find the lost city. Alright, let's go find this great bird and the golden man. That's the spirit, guys. You, sir, are a waste of time. Perhaps you cannot tell by looking at him, but Isper is a high priest of much higher standing than myself. He knows much about ancient legends and is a valuable member of the royal court. Yeah, he's a pervert as well. Rixus, uh, I'm sorry, I do not know anything. Yeah, I don't think you do know anything. Right, let's return to the little jack. Now, it might be worth trying to stock up on supplies somewhere. I can't remember where Rixus is. Let's find... Where was the Golden Man? Uh, I know it's actually not that difficult to find. So, the Golden Man statue was around here somewhere. There is the Golden Man. And of course, we have to go through a fight. Ooh! We haven't seen these before. Can you kill them with your new uh, Lamba Burst? Or maybe you? Nope, we're out of power. 
Okay. Well, everybody else just attack as normal. Okay. Can't skip this one for some reason. No bueno. No skippy. Ooh. Yes. So it works on those. Yeah. Well done, Ica. Well done. Eh, not a lot of money, but we got a decent amount of XP and a moonberry. Very nice. Alright, so the golden man is pointing this direction. Okay. So, let's go have a little look, shall we? Aha! There's Rixus. That was hard. A huge stone face that stands quietly buried deep in the forests of Ixitaka. The stones have been fitted so tightly together that not even an insect could crawl between them. It is a remnant of an ancient civilization. Well, that wasn't... Oh my god, this looks really nice! Oh, emulation, man. Okay, cool. Right, let's uh, drop a save down. And let's have a little squiz around here, shall we? So, we've got two scrawny little eyeballs. There's an indentation just big enough to, spit, uh, to fit a small gem. Let's go put the... Uh, that does not look like a small gem. I don't know what kind of gems you're used to around these parts. But that is not a small gem. Now... Eh, yeah, there is an indentation. Well, let's put the bird's eye in, I guess. And we have solved a mystery that has lasted thousands and thousands of years. So, here we go. That's quite a cool little ambient sound file as well actually okay let me just move it so I can see my recording screen a little bit better so I can at least see the timer there we go all right cool and I need to get my notes up here so let's go so this place is a bit weird it's a bit busy that's okay. We don't mind that. Now that's spoopy. Very myster mysterious. Now I know why they call this place the City of Mist, but I don't remember seeing any mist in the forest. The air is thin. It's a little hard to breathe. We were going up for a long time. I think these mists are actually clouds. But this doesn't look anything like a lost city of gold. Just a bunch of ruins up here. In the old world, Rixus was the capital of the green civilization. It was destroyed by the rains of destruction. Since then, it's been frozen in time. These craters must have been caused by the moonstones that were bombarding the city. Damn, son. I'm not seeing any gold here. <laughs> Ica does not look happy about this uh, revelation. As time passed, stories about the city probably got more and more exaggerated. We were supposed to find gold here. I should have slapped that dirty old man silly when I had the chance. Yeah, you should have, but he probably would have liked that. What the? Hmm. Baze, if this city has been dead for generations, then who is that? What? Where? Over there. I, I don't see anything. Ah, but but there there was someone there. I get the city has been dead for a very long time. Who else would be here? Probably just your imagination acting up. 
Why don't you believe me? I know I saw something. Fina, don't you think that maybe... Do you think that maybe I saw a ghost? A ghost? Uh, what's a ghost? <laughs> uh, it's been a while since you said something like that. A ghost is... Um, how shall I explain this? Well, it's something very scary, that's for sure. Really? Well, if you're this scared, Ica, then this ghost must be something very scary indeed. The two things I hate the most right now are dirty old men and ghosts. Oh, that's a shot for the ages. Please, let's let's not go. We'll be cursed. Oh, come on, Ica. We came all this way for the green crystal. We're not about to go back empty-handed. You could just wait here until we get back. Oh, oh no, no, I'm not going to wait here by myself with those th things out there. <laughs> She's terrified. All right, all right, I can go with you. I can't believe I'm doing this. You'll be fine, Ica. Anyway, before we do that, we've got to go back. Because there was a cham outside. And if I don't get the cham now, I'm only going to forget about it. Because you know me. Now, uh, it was out here somewhere. Was it up here? Oh, there we go. Where are you? There you are. Come on. Give me the cham. 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 Cham, cham, cham. Come on. Don't play hard to get. There we go. You received the cham. Cool. Right. Let's go feed uh, Fina. Well, we're not going to, you know, feed Fina exactly, but feed her pet. Ah, uh, Cham. There we go. Let's see. I think he's still the star. Okay. Anywho. Ah, oh, we're almost... Ah, oh, we're out of time. It's not really worth... All right, let's go back and save it. We're out of time now, anyway. Uh, when we come back, I guess we're going to go do this dungeon. Not a lot of point in continuing on. We're on 28 minutes. So, guys, I'm going to leave this there. When we come back, I guess we're going to explore this ancient city full of ghosts and goblins. And Ica's probably going to get very scared and then feel pretty silly once she finds out what's actually inhabiting this place. Which may be ghosts, but let's be real. Probably not. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.